Hey everybody, this is Joe over at Synergy 17 and today I just want to show you something I've been working on for just for a few weeks. Um, it's just something fun that I thought I'd do. Um, a few weeks back uh, someone asked about how to uh, make a graphic uh, black and white with a colored um, uh, letters or initial on top of it and that was kind of what triggered me to start doing this. And uh, so anyways, um, I'm going to just kind of show you what I did. I kind of made a little designer tool for doing the most typical designs you see, such as knockout, patterns, uh, shatter, things like that. So um, it's kind of chunky, and the, the, the macro is kind of big, uh, as you can see, and I'll work on making it smaller. But right now, let me just show you what it does. So as you can see, um, this kind of text just tells you what it does right here. It's pretty simple. This one says the button will take a letter and power clip uh, the colored version of a graphic into it and then place it over the grayscale version. So let's do that. Let me bring in a picture of a tiger. So we have a tiger and let's say we want to have the tigers. So what I can do is I can see how big this is going to be. I can make it as big as I want like that. So all you do is click on this button. It asks you to choose the background image, which is a JPEG. You choose that. It asks you to choose your letters. Choose that. And uh, this computer is a little bit slower, but um, this is what it does. It's going to take that, plop it on top of the tiger, and it's going to outline it, and you can see what it did here. So you have the grayscale version, but you can still see the tiger. It lines up perfectly. And this, of course, you can change, you can change the thickness of it. Um, I just made it uh, thick and made it um, red just so you can see, but you can do whatever you want with it. So that's all that button does. Pretty simple. Take a color graphic, take your text. It could have been a, a large, um, large T. It could be anything you want. So let's go ahead and see how it's done. Let's do a different one. Let's just do the letter T. So same thing, click on this, click on the background image, click on the letter, and it'll pop it in there. Like I said, you can change the, the stroke, you can change the color, uh, how the thickness of the stroke or the color of it, um, but see how it did that? So pretty simple, but that's all that little tool does. So I went ahead and get rid of this. Now let's look at the next thing. Let's do um, Tigers Baseball. Let's center that. Same thing, I'll just make it something kind of thick. So what I want to do here is make this pretty tight. And uh, it's about 9 inches. doesn't matter whatever size you want to do this. Uh, I need to bring in some other clip art. Let me just grab one of these guys here. Let me take this guy. So I don't need those guys. So what this is going to do is your typical knockout. And you guys see this before. So place your uh, your clip art wherever you want it to be. We want it over here or wherever you like. And what this is an offset distance, you can set that to zero. You can turn it off completely. Either put zero or put nothing there. And just highlight both items. Hit this button. And what it does is it knocks it through. So you can see him still in the letters but knocked out. So when you're ready to cut your vinyl, let's undo that. Now if you want a distance like 0 0.05 and do it, it gives you that little trim. That's all that does. So pretty simple, same thing. You can cut your vinyl out, but that's all that second thing does is the knockout design. Pretty simple. Now let's do pattern maker. So people like patterns. So what I've decided to do is I made a folder <clears throat> and I'll give you guys a bunch of patterns, but you can make your own patterns and throw them in this folder. And as you can see, there's checkered and chevron, distress patterns, uh, just patterns and um, polka dots. 
and you choose what you want. So let's just choose the show. Let's just choose this checkered pattern, and um, you select you select the, uh, your text, choose your color. So let's just do some blue, or let's do something red. That's fine. And then you hit apply pattern, and voila, and there's your pattern. So you cut those two pieces out. Um, you can do chevron pattern. So you can do, I mean, there's lots of different ones. So here's another chevron pattern. Um, we can go down here to the distress. Um, we're going to have to work on that. That right, it works, but there's so many pieces in a distressed artwork that it actually uh, is really slow. So if we make bigger chunks of distress, it'll work faster. So I was just playing around with these ones. Uh, these are just all kinds of random patterns. I don't even know what they're like. So like that's just a weird pattern. That's another pattern. Just just random patterns here. I think I even have polka dots. See some little polka dots in there. But these are all ready to cut out. Oops, let me do that. There's larger ones, and you can make your own sizes too. So, anyways, uh, I'll show you where the folder is. You can make your own patterns. And what we would like to see is people submit patterns. You submit patterns, we'll throw more in here, and you can use those. I don't have a way right now of viewing them. Uh, you basically have to go to the folder and open them if you want to see what they look like. Maybe I'll create a little button here that says view pattern so you can see it ahead of time before you apply it. But um, right now, it's not there. Uh, and that's what that does. The last thing is um, nothing real exciting, but people have asked about uh, a shatter effect a while back. And uh, what I decided to do is uh, see if I can automate that too. So what you do is on this last part, you put the number of shatters you want. So if you want 10 or 15, uh, you can put that number in there. And then what this does is this will randomize how big the shatter is. So for example, if you don't put random, it'll make them all the same size. So let's say I put 10 in here. And then I hit uh, create shatter. Watch what it does. So you kind of see the shatter effect right here. But you see there's actually 10 blades in there, but they're all even sizes. So but what I want to do is show you that if you put random shatter, you'll see that the blades are all kinds of different wacky, wacky places. So let's try it again. See, so some of these are thinner, some of them are thicker blades, so that's all that does. Um, you can change that number to 15 if you want. It'll make 15 blades. So anyways, that's all this tool does, is just does some basic stuff, some black and white designs, some knockout designs, some pattern uh, maker designs, and some shatter effects. So anyways, uh, I hope you like it. I'll have it listed on the website. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.